sauce and bombs with a bat. And it's a beautiful day for baseball right now. And we're on the 185 field. And we got a classic matchup. We got the old school and new school. Orange Mako, Demarini CF Black. These two are the most requested bats we have in Drop 10. And today we're just going to mash with them. And we're just going to see which one we think is better. Mm. Um, we're, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the Easton uh, Skinny Barrel history. First, if you go to 2010, we got the Stealth XL, which is a really good bat. Um, I would recommend buying it if you see one. They're pretty rare. Mm -hmm. And then we go to 2011. We got the Silver Bullet. That bat, is, I won't get too, into too much detail, but I can describe the bat in like three words. Amazing. <laughs> and then we got 2013, the Bumblebee which is a really good bat. We used to hit with that bat a lot. And then As you we can go see. straight to, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty, uh, you can tell it's been through some stuff. So, and then we go to 2014. We got the Mako and we got the XL. Uh, this is not the Bumblebee anymore. It is called the Banana. <laughs> um, and in this year, um, this is where the Mako came out and the, Mako was only in drop 11 at this year. The only way you could get a drop 10 is if you got the XL one. Um, the next year, they uh, you could get it the Mako in drop 11, or you could get it in drop uh, uh, 10. The Mako in drop 11 is just called the Mako, and the drop 10 is called the Mako XL. We'll be hitting with the Mako XL uh, today versus the. Yeah. And they came out with a torque that year too with the gimmicky handle. Didn't go over too well, but the, but the barrel is this is the same as the orange Mako. Um the drop five torque is is a is a beast. Then the next year, yeah, it was the green and black uh, Mako, then 2017 Mako Beast, and then the Ghost. And then uh, after that, De Marini pretty much took it over. And um, now they say from 2019 to 2021, all the DeMarini uh, CFs are the same. I don't have any data to prove that theory wrong, but I will say that the CF Black definitely sounds different. And I've seen some, um, some hits come off th these bats that were pretty amazing. So uh, maybe we'll do a different show on if they are in fact the same bat. So. Also, they came out with a skinny barrel in 2017, and this bat bangs right with the Makos. Great bat. Also, last thing before we start mashing with these bats, like I said, the silver bullet is amazing. Uh, we don't have enough time to cover it in this video, so if you guys want to see a silver bullet video, like and subscribe, and we will probably do that, because that bat is just, it's just awesome. Okay, you ready to hit some balls? Yeah, let's get right into L it. Let's do it. Come on. Oh. That 
literally hit the top of the fence. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engines Go XL.
67! Yeah! 67! Woo! Freaking record sale! So we hit a lot of balls today with these two bats, 2015 Eastern Mako XL 3020 and the 2019 Demarini CF Black Zen Limited Edition 3020. How do you feel about the two bats? Well, I think the Demarini is a little bit more unloaded, but I think the Orange Mako I can swing a little bit faster. I do think it has a bit more pop. Um, I think uh, dur well, don't even get me started on durability wise, man. <laughs> this has been through thousands of balls. Uh, Throughout the day, man. Uh, Big crack on the CF Black. Well, I think the victor of the day is the Orange Mako. Um, just in my opinion, if it, if it was someone else, they might have had different results. But me swinging the bats, I just did a lot. I just feel like I did a lot better with the Mako. Um, also, like and subscribe for part two. Of, we will blow up the Zen since we already have the See you guys next time.